in these next series of videos, uh, we're going to be looking at cost estimation. Cost estimation is important in a business because, as we've seen, the way costs behave will have an impact on decision making. We'll look at uh, three different methods. We'll be looking in these videos at the account analysis method, the, a separate video for the statistical method, and then finally, uh, we'll be using regression analysis. So let's begin with account analysis. In account analysis, we'll be using our cost accounting system to help us determine which costs are variable and which costs are fixed. So the account analysis is part of the accounting system. Uh, we're going to look at each major uh, type of cost. These will be product cost and period costs. We're going to itemize these and then we're going to collect the total for each of these major costs and then divide them uh, between variable and fixed cost. So this method uh, requires us to do certain things. As accountants, we have to capture this information. And how a business does this, of course, will vary on the business processes. Uh, this will entail uh, record keeping and reporting uh, by the production people. Uh, it will require uh, this information to flow through the accounting information system where it will be recorded and classified and then finally reported. As you can imagine, uh, this is very costly. Uh, the more information uh, we gather, the more data we gather, the, the costly it is for us to capture, record, and report on it. Uh, we then have to measure that against the benefit. And if the cost exceeds the benefit, then lean accounting tells us that we should forego capturing, recording, and reporting on this data and find an alternate method. And that's what statistical and regression analysis will help us do. The other major disadvantages requires the extensive use of judgment uh, by uh, personnel for the company, the accountants and the managers in understanding which costs are truly variable and which costs are fixed. In the textbook, in Exhibit 5.1, you see the cost analysis that was done for our example company. The first thing we had to record is the number of hours that was used. So we had to capture that information. The, the production people had to keep records on this. Of course, we can get these records through the billing system. Uh, we have certain overhead costs. We have to collect information in that cost pool, and we break it down to various categories within that pool. And during the course of a period, we will gather the cost data, and then somehow allocate it between variable and fixed. And this, of course, will vary. Let's take a look, for example, at utilities. Say we knew that utilities had a fixed monthly total of $210. That is, even if we use no utilities at all, our contract with the utilities companies require us to pay a, a set amount of $210. Well, then we can estimate the variable by simply taking the total and subtracting out the fixed cost. Let's say, for instance, um, we have been capturing information regarding training. And we know the variable training costs are 316, while our total cost is 666. Well, again, we could estimate the fix by simply taking the total and subtracting out the variable. The downside of all this is that if our variable cost analysis uh, is incorrect, then our fix is. 
Uh, so again, requires significant judgment. So let's go up and take a look at a demonstration problem. We have uh, our accountant. Uh, he has gathered some information over the last 12 months. We have collected information regarding our total overhead. And they tell us that the cost driver that we're going to be used to allocate these costs are the machine hours. So we have a cost pool that relates to the total overhead manufacturing costs. And we're going to use this data to determine our cost equation. The total cost equals the fixed cost plus the variable cost per unit times the activity. So let's begin by working on our cost equation. So I've written out the cost equation. The total cost equals fixed cost plus the volume, the number of units, times the cost per unit. Well, let's see what we know from our problem. We know that the fixed costs are 4620 per month. So our fixed costs are 4620 per month, and we are dealing with annual information, so we're going to multiply that by 12 to give us our total fixed cost for the year. So here we know that our total cost equals our fixed cost of 55,440 plus our volume, which is given at 4519, times the unknown cost per hour. Now, we also know what our total costs are. So, I can put that in 103. 918, and now we have to solve for this algebraic problem. We know our total costs are 103,918. We know our fixed costs are 4620 per month. This is for a 12 month period for a total of 55,400. We know we have a volume of 4519. Now we just need to solve for x. So let's start solving that. So we have 103,918 minus 55,440 because we're bringing that over the equal sign and that equals 4519x. So 103,918 minus 55,440 will equal 48, 478, so 48, 478, equals 4519x. So 48, 478 divided by 4519 equals just about 1073. So we can say 10.73 equals x. So here in our equation, x equals 10.73. So if we substitute the numbers now that we know, we 
we can solve for the 400 hours by saying the total cost is going to be equal to our fixed cost per month of 46.20 plus 400 hours times 10.73 So our total cost is going to be equal to 400 times 10.73 plus 46.20, which equals 89.20. And we've solved our problem.